Hi everybody, welcome to the Parsha video. This week's Torah portion is Parshat Bishalach. Bishalach means when he sent, and it's referring to when Pharaoh sent the Jewish people out of the land of Egypt. So this is it, this is the climax of the Jewish story. The Jewish people are coming out of Egypt. This is the moment we have all been waiting for, the great exodus with a capital E. And in this Torah portion, we have the story of the splitting of the Red Sea and Pharaoh and his armies drowning in the sea. We have the song at the sea that Moses sang with the Jewish people, the song that Miriam sang with the women and dancing. And then we have the, the story of the manna that fell miraculously because the Jewish people were worrying about how, how are they gonna eat and how are they gonna drink and maybe it was better in Egypt. But you know, with all of this celebration and all of, with all this excitement and happiness about the Jewish people coming out of the land of Egypt and with all this singing and and this week's uh, this week Shabbat is actually called Shabbat Shira Shabbat Shira this the Sabbath of a song named after the song at the sea so this is such a cataclysmic week and this is such a cataclysmic story but the question must be asked we're so excited that God took us out of Egypt but no one's asking the question who put us in the land of Egypt in the first place and made us suffer? It was God also. It's like if a person is ill and everybody prays for them and they get better, you know, and everyone's like, oh, yay, God, but God made them sick. So we have to talk about that. We have to address that. So if God put the Jewish people in the land of Egypt, and yes, I know it was Pharaoh's fault and it was because Joseph got sold and everybody ended up coming down to Egypt and then there was a new Pharaoh and then he enslaved them. But actually years before that, God told Abraham, your children are gonna be strangers in a strange land. They are gonna be strangers in a land that is not theirs and they will be persecuted for 400 years and then they will come out of their very wealthy. But God told Abraham very clearly that he was going to put slavery onto the agenda for the history of the Jewish nation. And the question is why? We're so excited that God took us out of Egypt, but why did he put us in there in the first place? And the Torah gives us two answers, two answers that God put us in the land of Egypt. One of them is expressed by a Hebrew phrase called Kur Habarzel. Kur Habarzel literally means the iron furnace. What is an iron furnace? A furnace is something that purifies. It uh, sterilizes, it purifies, it brings out the best in, in a metal, in a gold particularly. Pretty much what God was saying to the Jewish people is, you guys are gold. You guys are worth investing in. And when I am gonna put you through that hell, and it's going to purify you and bring out the beauty in you that didn't used to be obvious, that was there, it was inside, it was all along, but it brought you out. And this is something that I think we can really relate to because, you know, so many times we'll look back at different things that we've gone through, different hellish experiences that we've gone through. And to some degree, we might say, I wish I never would have gone through that. But to some degree, we might say that experience made me what I am today. And the Egypt experience made the Jewish people what they are today. Now there's another answer. And that answer is actually more specific. There are numerous times throughout the Torah where the Torah says, Jewish people, I want you to look out for the underdog. I want you to make sure to pay attention to the convert, the stranger, the widow, the orphan, the immigrant, the needy, the one that people might not pay attention to, the one that people might not include. Why? because you are strangers in a strange land, because you in your national and historical consciousness and identity, you know what it feels like to be that other, to be that outsider, to be that foreigner, to be that persecuted minority. So you better take care of the underdog. And it wasn't just about Egypt. This was something that would come up over and over and over again for the Jewish people in many different lands. In fact, when someone is converting to Judaism, one of the things that we say to them is, are you sure you want to be Jewish? There are a lot of people who don't like us. It is a part of the Jewish story to be other, to be foreign. And the reason for that is so that we, there's many reasons, but in this context, the reason for that is that we can know good and well what it is like to be a stranger in a strange land so that we can make sure to have that empathy and to take care of others. So really, we shouldn't just be singing a song that God took us out of Egypt. We should be song, singing a song that God put us 
in Egypt because it made us who we are today. It gave us the tools to be amazing. Shabbat Shalom.